Hi, my super sweet crafty friends. Welcome to my channel, Carolina's Creations Handmade. If you're new, please subscribe and click the bell button down below so you don't miss any of my videos. Today, we're going to continue our mini album junk journal tutorial and we'll be making a few pages. Uh, thank you so much for your love and your friendship. I miss you guys. I was sick, but I'm back and I'm going to try to make a quick video for you with the next pages. We're going to be using a 12 by 12 cardstock. And for the first page, we're going to trim it from uh, 12 by 12 to 12 and 11 and 5 8 inches. Then we're going to score at 8 and a quarter inches. So make a score line at 8 and a quarter inches. And then we're going to turn our page and fold on that score line. And once we fold, we're going to actually burnish. I recommend that you use a burnish tool like a bone folder. If you don't have one, you can use a butter knife or even a ruler. But make sure that you use something so you have clean finishes. Now we're going to place our 12 by 11 and 5 8 piece and score at 5 and 7 8. So on the 11th and 5 8 piece, you're going to score at 5 and 7 8. And then you're going to fold and burnish your piece again. So as you can see there, once we finish our burnishing, we can open our page and then we're going to fold the bottom side and then we're going to fold our page in half and that is going to give us our first page. It's pretty easy to make. Uh, make sure that you burnish again just to make sure that the edges are uh, finished cleanly. And this is going to be our first page. So it's going to have two lower pockets as you see in there. And then we're going to have our main pocket. There's going to be a large pocket in the center of our piece. Now we're going to make an insert for that page. So we're going to use a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock that we're going to score at six inches. Then we're going to score at three inches. And then we're going to score at nine inches. And this page gave me a little fit, so <laughs> I had to make a few corrections. Uh, I try to make it as easy as possible for you guys to follow, but uh, yeah. So turn your piece around and then we're going to score at six inches. So we're going to score at six inches. And that is going to give us the center of our page. So turn your piece and we're going to start folding so we can start burnishing and then creating our pockets for our insert. So again, burnish, use your burnishing tool so you have a clean finish over there on the folds. We're going to start folding our pockets. Make sure that you leave an eighth of an inch from the center line. I didn't do that and I had to correct my piece. So make sure on both sides you leave an eighth of an inch from the center when you fold it. You'll see later on I'll make a correction here but do it as I show you. And then you're going to fold the sides as you see in there and this is going to give us sort of like a cabinet piece that we're going to add to our first page. And this is going to hold four different tags. I love this piece because it not only holds the four different tags, but it also gives you space for a big picture or you can make a pocket too. Go to strip that measure six inches by two and seven eighth inches. You're going to score on the long side of the strip at a half an inch. Fold that half an inch and this is what we're going to use to sandwich into our um, insert so then we can hold to hold it to our page get this strip again and we're going to score on the long side at one inch and then we're going to fold so we're going to create sort of like a, a little accordion here as you'll see in a minute make sure that you burnish um again i really like burnishing so it has a clean finish and then once you fold it you can see in there it has sort of like a little accordion a look to it but this is what we're going to use to um, hold our page, our page. I like doing it this way because I want to make it as sturdy as possible. So since it's going to be handled a lot, our piece is going to hold. Now, after you place that piece against your insert, score right at the edge of the page. Right at the edge there, maybe leave an eighth of an inch or so gap. And then that way it's going to make it possible so our page actually folds correctly. And I'm sorry for the noise outside, but I can't control that. So now fold 
on the score line in there and you can see we have like an accordion piece so we're going to glue most of that um, so we create a sturdy insert so glue on that fold in there it's the first two folds and you're going to use that to sandwich our little insert piece in between that a fold in there so that is going to hold our, accord, uh, our insert and then we're going to add glue again to that piece that remains in there but first make sure that you clean I'm using glue for the first time and it's very messy so make sure that you keep a little cloth handy so you can clean your project as you go so you can see here how it looks now we're going to glue uh, that fold that we just made in there we're going to add glue to it and that way we're going to have our piece securely hold over there to our flap that we're going to use to place inside our main page so it holds I hope this is not too confusing I hope that you can follow along uh, from the video so add glue to the flap in there and make sure that you leave around one eighth of an inch gap in there. Leave around one eighth of an inch from the edge of your insert to the edge of that main page. And what this is going to do is going to give you enough space to allow for easy fold of the insert. Otherwise, it's not going to fold properly. So make sure you leave an eighth of an inch. And as you'll see in there, that will give us enough uh, space so our insert folds properly so make sure you clean all the glue now open your fold and I'm going to actually score at a quarter inch from that fold in there from that fold line and I did this because my insert actually was um, wider than the page and I didn't want that so I had to make a correction so I scored there at a quarter inch and that gave me um, uh, the correct sizing so that flap is or is going to overlap but it's not going to um, fall bigger than the main page now I'm going to add a little line of glue in the center there I want to add that glue so I can separate that area so it's it holds two tags I don't want a big pocket I want a pocket for individual tags make sure that you do a thin line all over these areas because once you fold your uh, once you actually place your pieces together it's going to flatten the glue and it's going to actually run on the inside so make sure that you do a um, sort of like a thin line so you don't actually close a lot of your pocket area so I'm going to add glue to the other um, flap in there that's going to hold my tag and again I'm going to try to apply as thin a line of glue as I can so when I push those two pieces together there's not going to be a lot of glue running inside that is going to close and narrow my pocket so now I am going to use my cloth to sort of like press the pieces together so I can clean the glue at the same time and you can see there from my score line in there my one of my flaps is going to overlap with the other one and I really like how that ended up uh, looking now we're going to open our main page so we can actually glue the um, pockets and we're only going to add glue to the edges of that piece we don't need to add glue to the center because we're not going to need it for closing as you will see in a minute so bring your flap um, down and again make sure that you keep your piece of cloth handy so you can clean all the excess glue as you see me doing there <laughs> I've never used glue before uh, I use double-sided tape and it's a little challenging <laughs> you have to clean a lot of glue but uh, it's workable <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well and thank you so much for watching my videos and for all your love and support I'm sorry I haven't been available but I've been pretty pretty busy and then I got sick so this is how our page is going to look with the insert and we're going to actually glue it to the first uh, little flap in there for our accordion spine. What I do is I like sandwiching that page uh, on that little flap when I glue it. But if you want to make it easier for yourself, glue one side of the flap with one side of the page and then glue the other side. It's easier that way, but I like doing it all at once. So I add, I add glue to both sides of that little flap. And then what I do is, as you'll see in a minute, I'll just uh, sandwich that page in between that flap 
and then it's going to glue both sides right away at uh, once instead of having to glue one side and then the other side but again if you want to make it easier it's honestly easier if you just glue one side and then the other one so make sure that you burnish very well over here so you make sure that your glue adheres properly i'm going to actually burnish and make sure that you don't glue your page all the way down to the edge this is very important please don't glue your page all the way down to the edge leave a little gap maybe not even an eighth of an inch but a little gap so your page folds properly so uh, leave a little gap don't flush your page all the way down the bottom of your insert there of your accordion spine there now make sure that you burnish all the way th through burnish properly and then again please remember it's very important that you leave a little little gap in there don't flush your page all the way down to the bottom of your accordion spine because it's not going to close properly i make sure that i burnish everywhere and now i'm going to glue that uh, bottom pocket over there from my main page and i'm going to add a very thin line of glue again because i don't want glue running um inside of my pocket once i push the two sides together and making it um narrowing the pocket so i add a little thin line of glue you can actually add the glue before you place the page um into your spine but for this page i it was more comfortable for me to glue it afterwards but i'm going to add glue to the later pages once i make them so this is how our first page looks it's great because from one flap of your accordion spine you can get two pages now we're going to cut a 12 by 12 piece into a 12 and 11 and three quarter inches then you're going to score at five and three quarters so score at five and three quarters on the 11th and three quarters actually not on the long side and then you're going to score on the long side at eight and a quarter inches so after you score on the 11th and three quarter side you're going to turn around and score on the 12th side at, at eight and a quarter inches and after we score at eight and a quarter inches we're going to actually fold our piece but first we're going to score on the um, line there the center line we're going to core cut on that score line all the way up to the horizontal score line which you see eight and a quarter inch score line now we're going to fold our piece and as you can see there we have a little excess there like a quarter inch excess so we're going to place our folded piece on our scoreboard and we're going to score a line right there on the quarter inch excess mark and you can see there we're going to cut a little flap up to that score line in there that eight and a quarter inch score line and this is how our piece is going to look so then we're going to fold and you can see there this area is going to give us a large flap that we're going to use later to add another insert so here's we ha here we have a little flap that we created that we can use to add an insert page so we're going to fold our flap in there up then we're going to uh, turn our page and do the same on the other side we're going to fold our flap up and then once we fold and we burnish our piece we're going to actually uh, round the corners on our flaps there i'm using this Mar martha stewart uh, punch in there it's a corner punch a corner rounder so i'm going to use this punch to um, round the corners on one side of the flaps the other side is actually going to become a little pocket so i'm going to add adhesive to that side i'm going to add adhesive a line of adhesive to both edges i'm going to add a thin line again i don't want to add a long line i mean a thick line because i don't want to narrow my pocket then we're going to bring that flap up and make sure that you clean the excess glue <laughs> everywhere um, and then we created a pocket and you can see there we have a little flap that we can use to add 
another page to this page. So we're going to create another insert that we're going to add to that page. So we have a bottom flap in there that you can use later for journaling to place pictures, etc. And then we have a pocket, a bottom pocket on that side, as you see there. And then the inside is going to be a long pocket. I'm going to place my page here on the little flap on my accordion spine just to make sure that everything fits properly. So I'm going to sort of like place it sandwiched in there just to make sure that it all fits as I wanted, to, uh, wanted it to fit. And it seems like it fits properly. So this is going to be our second page, guys. How do you like it? I hope that you're liking it so far. I hope the tutorial is not very difficult. <laughs> it's kind of convoluted, but I hope that you can follow along. So I'm going to add glue to both sides of that flap as I did before. Again, if you want to do it easier, you can add glue to one side of the uh, little flap glue that side of the page and then I glue to the other side and glue the other side of your page but I rather sandwich them like that it's easier for me to do it that way make sure again that you leave an eighth of an inch from the bottom don't place your page all the way flush to the bottom because then it's not going to close properly so make sure you leave around an eighth of an inch gap from the bottom to uh, your page that way when you uh, fold your page when you uh, flip it it's going to actually do it properly make sure that you uh, burnish everywhere burnish to make sure that your um, glue sets properly and everything is adhered correctly so as you see there, since I left uh, an eighth of an inch gap it's going to be easier for my flap to fold uh, both ways so you're going to if you fold it to the right or fold it to the left it's going to fold easily properly because you left a little gap in there you didn't glue your page all the way flush to the bottom make sure that you clean any excess glue and here is our second page how do you like it guys I really, really love making these pages interactive. There's so many things that you can do. You can add journaling there. You can add little pictures. You have a pocket there to place so many different things. And then you have a very large pocket that you can add so many things inside. And with the little flap that we created, we can add another insert to that page. So we'll have four pages in two of the accordion flaps. Now we're going to start our insert for that page. We're going to use a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. We're going to score at two and a quarter inches. And then we're going to score at nine and three quarter inches. So again, we're going to score at two and a quarter and a nine and a quarter inches. Then we're going to cut that piece on the long side at five and three quarter inches. So cut on the long side at five and three quarter inches. And when I say the long side, I mean the sides that are not the side that is not scored. So now we're going to add glue to that little flap in there that we created on that second page. And we're going to glue our unfolded piece. So we're going to leave around an eighth of an inch again from the bottom area. We're going to leave around an eighth of an inch so we can uh, fold our piece correctly. Make sure that you burnish all around so your piece is glued or adhered properly. And I decided to trim around an eighth of an inch uh, on the flaps there, on each flap, as you see me doing there. And that makes it easier so the flaps don't rub against the other page. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope it was understandable and easy to follow. And um, I also wanted to let you know, I left some links to helplines for uh, any of you who are on abusive relationships that need any help or support. I left those links on my prior video. Please make sure to check them out if you need help. And if you have any stories that you want to share with us so you can help other people, please email them to me. I would love to share them with uh, others so we can help each other. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you all have a very beautiful Mother's Day. And I can't wait to see you guys here soon for my next video. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Mwah.